Hey guys, this is the big news. Um, Ponage Tool 2.0.2 has been released. And if you already have Ponage Tool, I recommend you update through Sparkler, the built in updater for Ponage Tool. But if you've never used Ponage Tool before, I'll have a link in the description to download Ponage Tool directly in the description over here. Um, that's Pwn on Mac. And it does have installer for beta as the default option, and it has the latest version of Cydia. Uh, I checked it out on Twitter this morning, and I'm like, I gotta tell people about this. And I know I will spend a good time on the links and the description of this video. And you have to download the bootloader files. And I don't have a Mac, I'll have a, I'll have a link to a very good tutorial, written tutorial, on how to use Punish Tool to open to in the description over there also. Um, and Windows user, this is important for you too. If you've already pwned your iPod and it's on 2.0 or 1.1.4, most likely 2.0 if it's pwned, you can download a custom firmware I'll have in the description over here. And you just download it, and you have to put, you have to uh, plug in your iPod to your or iPhone to your computer, and make sure iTunes detects it first, and then put it into DFU mode. If you don't know what DFU mode is, it's when you hold the sleep wake button and the home button for 10 seconds, like just do, just do 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, and when you get to 10 1000, let go of the sleep wake button and just hold the home button. And iTunes should detect it, and your iPhone or iPod has to have a blank screen or it's not in DFU mode. If it has your boot logo, it's not in DFU mode, it's in recovery mode. Um, so make sure it's in DFU mode. And once you download the custom firmware, just um, load it to your iPhone or iPod via iTunes in DFU mode. Just do the same shift click restore you always do. And you have Pwn 2.0.1. And for the new Win Pwn, if you kept up to date, they were going to release the 2.5 but they're going to release 2.0.0.4 first. I'm guessing it's not going to have the interface that they previewed for us about 2.5 but it will be able to directly pwn 2.1 so if you don't want to use a custom firmware you can wait for 2.0.0.4 wind pwn. And I think that's all I have to talk about. Oh yeah and if you have an unlocked iPhone this is only for you unlocked iPhone guys I will have an activated and an un non-activated custom firmware. If you have an unlocked iPhone, you have to download the activated firmware. And if you're on a locked iPhone with AT&T, you have a good contract, just download the non-activated firmware. I'll have both of those for the iPhone, iPhone 3G, and the custom firmware for the iPod Touch. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Thanks for watching, and I'll keep you up to date on the latest ponies tool, wind phone, ponies, and all that jailbreaking. And thanks for watching, please subscribe.